Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys 10 ways to preserve the battery life on your iPhone 5S. So let's uh, dive right in, okay? Uh, the first one I want you to do is disable the background app refresh. So if you go to settings and uh, general, over here there's an option that says background app refresh. If you turn this off, this is going to make sure that your data is not being used for no reason. And as you know, every time you use your data, you also drain your battery faster. So you can actually keep this on and individually turn things off that you don't like. As you add more apps, you'll be seeing more apps over here. So you can turn all of them on or off individually. So I have no uh, interest in stocks, so I turned that off. But I do want my weather to refresh every now and then. Okay, so this is the first tip. Now tip number two has to do with the uh, background apps that are actually running. So if you double tap your home button, you get the multitasking view. And all these apps, not all of them, but most of them are actually draining battery just by being in the background and some of them are actually running in the background so any app that you don't need just swipe it up to kill that app so it does not hog any battery all of them so now it's using less battery because I killed all the apps that were running in the background now one of the biggest things that uh, kills your battery is the brightness. So make sure that you reduce your brightness to a moderate level. So just pull up your control panel and make sure it's not all the way up here. This is going to kill your battery faster than anything. So just reduce it to a moderate acceptable degree. And in some cases I just keep it rock bottom. And if I need it I'll just pull it up and increase it. Okay, so that's a, that's a good number right there. All right, so tip number four is turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi if you're not using them. So again, if you pull up your control panel, up here you got the Wi-Fi option and the Bluetooth option. As you can see, mine are turned off. So if I turn it off, that's exactly what it will be. It will be white. So white means it's turned on. So make sure you have these off if you're not actually using them. Okay, because again, they are using they are draining your battery levels you can also go to settings and in the beginning here you can turn them off from here so Wi-Fi and Bluetooth if you go in you can tap it all on or off okay so tip number five as you know iPhone iOS 7 comes with the airdrop feature where you can move stuff between two iPhones uh, just simply by using airdrop and AirDrop ends up using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. But just by having the AirDrop off, you can still conserve battery power. So go to your control center, pull it up, tap AirDrop, and make sure it's off if you're not using it. Okay? And if you are using it, if you keep it at contacts only, it's going to drain less battery. If you have it on everyone, it's going to drain most of your battery that way. So keep it off if you don't need it as everything else. All right, so iOS 7 has the ability to auto-update your apps in the background. Once again, this will consume data and battery power. So turn it off to preserve power. So go to settings, okay, and then all the way down, if you keep scrolling, you'll find iTunes and App Store. When you go inside, scroll down a little bit more, and make sure the auto update apps is disabled if this is enabled it is going to drain battery intermittently so if you have this off then you can do it manually and by doing it manually I mean you go to App Store you go to updates and you just do it manually there's gonna be a list of apps here that are waiting to be updated now another thing that uh, drains your battery is the parallax effect as you know with the I iOS 7 if you move your phone around the background image moves about okay so that actually drains battery power so what you want to do is you want to cancel that it's annoying anyway in my own uh, opinion so go to settings go to general go to accessibility scroll down and go to reduce motion and make sure reduce motion is turned on 
So this is going to disable the parallax effect, so no more movement. And less animation means less battery drainage. Now talking about animations, if you put um, as your background images, so let's go to um, wallpapers and brightness under settings. If you use live wallpapers, which is called dynamic wallpapers in iOS 7, you are going to drain more battery. So if I have any one of these guys, it's going to drain more battery, again, because you've got animations in the background. So don't do live wallpapers if you're trying to conserve your battery power. And the ninth tip is turn off automatic brightness. So go to your settings, and again, under wallpapers and brightness, make sure auto brightness is turned off. This will allow you to make the brightness adjustment by yourself. Um, it's, it's more specific, so it is going to drain less battery. So if this is what you want, that's what you keep. With the auto brightness, the slider will automatically adjust based on the lightning conditions. It's not working right now, but that's not a big deal. So keep that turned off so you can manually adjust your brightness as you please. And the final tip is to make sure that your phone auto locks as soon as possible. Okay, so go to settings, go to general, and find the option called auto lock. So this is going to make sure that your phone actually locks out and the, the, the screen shuts within a minute. So you can do one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, or never, which you never want to pick. So um, as long as you have this in one minute, uh, in, in, within a minute your phone will just turn off. And that's, again, brightness and screen is two of the things that drain your battery more than anything else. So make sure that you guys have the brightness under control and the auto lock under control so your phone shuts off if you're not using it as quickly as possible. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.